here on the old city vlog channel once again out of the beach trying to see if I can wrangle up a few fish to bring home for dinner hopefully some pompano some whiting who knows we'll see how it goes this is one of my go-to setups a over the bar 13 rod with a pen squall 2 reel on there spooled up with 14 pound suffix tritanium and uh, I usually have a shock leader on. This is just straight mono right here to a pompano rig. Hopefully pompano is what we get. That's what we're going after. Whiting would be nice too. But uh, pompano would be even better. Big pompano. Need some pompano slabs. Looks like we're getting a bite. Hopefully it's good fish and not a catfish or something. Got a little bit of pull to it right now though. Ooh, it is looking like a pompano. Come on, man, quit tangling up. Through the net a few times just to see if I can catch any uh, any bait fish, any little mullet or anything, minnows or anything. Throw one out. See if there's any redfish or anything out there, but uh, wasn't wasn't catching any bait fish today. Uh, I don't know. You know, the fish were biting. It was kind of weird. Fish were biting really light this time out. Like, you know, normally pompano hits your rod, you know, and it like bends over, doubles over, even with a bigger whiting, you know, they whack it pretty good. These fish were biting really light today, you know, I was using uh, some fresh dead shrimp, had little floating, you know, little floats on my hook, um, Sandman style floating rig, and uh, tipped with some fish bites ghost shrimp, flavor of the week. And uh, I don't know, fish were just, they were biting, but uh, it was kind of slow, and they were just biting really light. Like I'd see uh, on the whiting, I'd see my pole just barely move, and I'm thinking, ah, there's nothing on there. You know, it's got to be a pinfish bite or something. And then I'd reel in, you know, decent-sized whiting. And I'm like, wow, okay, you guys just uh, hitting light and fighting light today. But uh, you know what? Still uh, put fish on the table in the cooler. So yeah, you know, wasn't burning them up out here, but uh, did manage to catch one nice pompano. You know, he was a small one. And uh, three decent sized whiting. So, you know, overall brought home some fish for the cooler, some uh, fish sandwiches, a little bit of fish dinner, which is what I was going after. So uh, that turned out to be a good success. This is my favorite time of the year to fish is, uh, you know, end of October, November, even into December and uh, you start getting this bull whiting once the water drops a little bit more and, uh, and nothing wrong with having a cooler full of whiting in my opinion uh, pompano as well you know the pompano run hopefully 
will just get better and better over the next couple of weeks now. And uh, also, there's big reds out there, um, other kinds of fish as well. You know, sharks are fun, but, uh, you know, not my favorite thing to catch. But uh, I'll eat one every now and again. But uh, overall, you know, it was a fun afternoon. I only had a couple hours to fish this morning. And um, I talked to a couple of people that fished uh, a little bit later that afternoon and uh, did really well as well. Went back Sunday and uh, I could barely get a catfish and one tiny whiting to bite my line in three hours of fishing. So, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. Come back another time and uh, catch fish then. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. Uh, there you have it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. And I will catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.